Well, if you've been to the Bibb County Animal Shelter lately, you may have noticed the cat meet and greet rooms are getting an upgrade. 41 NBC's Chase Ambrose tells us why. Cats love to climb, scratch, stretch, and play, and they can do all of that alongside potential new owners in the Bibb Animal Shelter's new and improved kitty cat rooms. The rooms are designed to allow potential adopters to get to know the cats as well as just to give the cats a place to play. There's ladders, a roller wheel, and of course scratching posts. One of the two rooms is essentially complete and the other is getting there, but all of this had to cost something, right? Now this situation might give some people pause, thinking it was a catastrophic use of taxpayer funds, but it wasn't. It's a perfect example of a donation. Miss Carol Bunn, she was, gave a very generous donation in uh, honor and remembrance of her son Christopher Cannon. So uh, we wanted to really just go all out with our cat rooms and, uh, you know, decorate it and furnish it to where the cats would really just have a good time. He was a a big cat lover. And the cat rooms aren't the only improvement to come from the donation. The locks on the cat pods have been replaced. The old ones were prone to breaking, causing at least one kitty to escape into the shelter during the night. Don't worry, they got him back and he was adopted out. The donation also provided an incubator, which will mainly be used for cats, but this Tuesday morning it was used to save the life of a puppy. A donation in memory of one life, saving and improving others. In Macon, Chase Ambrose, 41 NBC. And extra money from the donation will be spent on new cat traps for animal enforcement. If you're interested in adopting a cat or dog, there's a special adoption event this Saturday. It's from 10 to 3 at Harley Davidson of Macon.